Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to brief about uh, uh, different types of free trial which we can use in Databricks. Okay. Uh, Databricks is providing a different types of free trial. One is a free trial. If you go to the databricks.com, which you can find the home page, uh, try Databricks. But this free trial, you have to use a credit card with a cloud subscription, like Azure or AWS or GCP, which you will get a 14 days free trial. But if you want to learn Python, PySpark, Spark, Spark SQL, right? Then better to go with the free edition. And it's a replacement for community edition because now you can't create a new community edition and uh, they are going to replace with a new service that is called free edition. Free trial, which is 14 days free trial with a cloud subscription, which you need a credit card if you want to go with a cloud subscription. But without credit card, if you're looking for enterprise edition, like similar kind of features, UI and other things, we can choose Databricks free edition. It's an alternative or you can say replacement for community edition. So how to create that and where to create that? So we can go to Google and search Databricks free edition. Just search this. Directly, they are showing the website, the URL itself, replacing a Databricks Community Edition. Okay, that is free edition. Click on this link. You have an option sign up to free edition. Click on this. So enter your email ID, enter your email ID, and always remember you see here. Databricks free edition. So now here you enter your email ID. I'll give my personal email ID. You can enter any email ID. Okay. This is my personal email ID. You can enter your any personal email ID. Outlook or any Gmail or any personal email ID you can give. Click on continue with the email. Just enter the email. You don't need to set any password here. So we'll get a Verification code. So here I received a verification code. This is my personal email ID. Verification also you can choose here. Also, can choose here. Now it will create account and uh, next time whenever we log in with the same email ID. So how to log in that same procedure. So you can just Google it. Databricks free edition. You have option click on this link. You have option to log in. So here you can find the login. This one for creating account, this one for logging account. Okay, so now we already done this and uh, already opened in another tab. Let's verify here. So, this is the new feature introducing of Databricks one, like they are changing the landing page for BA end users, okay, business analyst and end users. A and B I, they don't need all this left side menu, right? So that's why they introduced another landing page. So this is the normal landing page whenever we go for data engineering side, right? Or maybe data scientist. The left side you can see the menu. And always remember the logo which you can see here, free edition logo. The right side which user will log in, and the default of a workspace name will be a workspace. Remember this here. If you go to the compute, you can't create all purpose compute in the free edition, that will be disabled by default. If you go to the compute, you don't see all purpose compute for data engineering. Always you can use a serverless, a serverless, not a warehouse. It will be available at notebook level if you create a notebook. So the Right side, you have option to select the serverless. Now you can go and use 
can run our program. Let's consider if I go and run any of file system commands, the code is going to execute on this serverless. The serverless you can't use RDDs because RDDs are restricted in serverless. But you can use a PySpark data frame, you can use a Spark SQL, you can create a delta tables and other formats. And by default, when it comes to Unity catalog, and when it comes to our file system, some changes are required. So I'll show you that. Okay. So here it is a Databricks data sets file system, and the volumes also you have this. But when it comes to upload, and if you want to upload any data file, there is an option called add data. If you click on add data, we'll have a DBFS normally. Okay, Databricks file system. You don't see that option here directly. You have only option volume. You have option to create a table. Mean, if you go to the catalog, when Unity catalog, you see this workspace. You can see here the workspace. And the workspace is the catalog name. Every account you'll have a the workspace name you see here. Same name. You can find the workspace name as a catalog here. And if you click on the workspace, and you have an option to create a schemas. Because if you want to upload any data file in free edition, you can't directly upload. You need to have a volume. So that volume will help you to store the data files. But volume you can create in inside a Unity catalog. You'll have a workspace catalog. So if I create a schema, like if I create a schema name like landing. Okay. So the schema is created and the owner is showing us my username. And here you'll have an option to create a volume. I'll create a folder name or you can say volume name as data files. Okay. So now you can go and upload any files here. And there's an option called upload to volume. Can upload any data file. Let me upload some data files here. Okay. So we see some errors. I'll tell you why we see these errors. Okay. Now we have a data files, and you can copy this location and go to a notebook. Like just now, we created this notebook. Uh, we were able to upload data files and we can see the data files in this location volumes inside that the workspace name like actually it's a workspace is a catalog name then schema name and name now we have a data files here so in a free edition databricks file system which is a dbfs default location like file store will be disabled you can't use here only you can use in a community edition and the free edition they are, they are restricting that and you have option to create a volume inside volume you can go and store the files but if you want to avoid those errors or warnings you can go to the catalog and uh, even while creating a catalog option you see you can create a new catalog to avoid the errors Going to create a new catalog. You see here, you can go and create a new catalog. This will be the existing catalog as workspace. Another catalog is a system. By default, uh, you will get that. You can create your own catalog and you will be the owner. And you can go and create a schema. Inside schema, you can create a volumes like this. So then you can create a tables and other things to avoid any errors. So whenever you go and create a free edition for learning Python, Spark SQL, or PySpark, or Spark, so you can use a free edition. Always remember this logo. And uh, next time, whenever you log in, use the same email ID. And use this login icon. So login.
Just I'm providing my email ID. Now, if I go to my account, then I'll get this OTP verification code. So you don't need to set any password. Whenever next time, whenever you log in, always it's a OTP based login. And we can find our previously we created this notebook. That notebook also you can find here. And you don't need to create any cluster. You don't need to worry about that. But you can use a Varos, Varos for a SQL editor. Even the same Varos you can use if you are using SQL. Okay. In the notebook, if you go to the notebook, if you want to run any SQL code other than serverless, you can go and use. SQL data warehouse by default that also will be available, but you have to start that by default that, that will be terminated. You see this, and this only you can use for SQL related. But the serverless, other serverless, this one we can use for Python, Scala. Means you can create a data frame, you can create a table, but this one is SQL related purely. So you can see here, cannot execute non-SQL cells when when we are connecting SQL virus. Okay, we we connected SQL virus, but it supports only SQL. And if you want to run SQL, use a serverless. So by default, it will be available for every workspace with a free edition. So this way, where we can go and create edition. Okay, thank you. See you in another video.